Hey everybody, uh, I was asked to do a quick video as a tutorial for um, using Excel to draw graphs. It's actually pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy. So let's get right into it so that you can see how that's done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I've got Excel open. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so that you can see that. And I'm just gonna make up some data and you'll have to you know use it, your own data to actually create um, uh, a graph. And so it, it's pretty, pretty easy enough to come in here and say volume, uh, let's say cumulative volume, cumulative volume, and watch this, see how I can open this a little bit. I want to have it wrap text. There it is. And then do the same thing here. Cumulative. See, spell that right. Yep. And then cumulative mass. All right. And, and again, I, I'm just going to make up some, some, uh, some data so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. All right, so let's say that you come up with cumulative volumes like 2.5, 6.1, uh, 9.9, um, uh, uh, see, 13.4, 13 and let's say finally we get 17.7. Uh, and then cumulative masses, let's say you got, um, uh, 3.6945, 4.567. Uh, I'm just going to, let me take this back to like 7.8754. I'm just, I'm really just going to go ahead. I'm just making data up as I go along. Um, and let's just say the last one is 18.234. Okay. Now that you've got your data, all you need to do is highlight it, just drag it and highlight it. And then what you do is you insert. So at the top of the Excel, you want to click insert and then insert a scatter plot. And this is what, this is the one you want to do. You don't want it to connect the dots for you. So you just really, all you want are the dots on the graph. That's it. That's all you need. And so, what else do you need to do at this point? Well, let's just double check. Is the volume on, what do I need? I need mass over volume. That's what I need on the right, on the, on the correct axis. Uh, let's make this quite a bit different so that we can tell which one is on which axis. So 20, I'm gonna change these all here. Yeah, so look how it changed. It is changing everything. Now you can see clearly the large values are in the x-axis. I'm gonna go back and undo everything. We do have the correct values on the correct axis. You want mass over volume, so that means you want mass on the y-axis and volume on the x-axis. Now this is how you get the chart to do what you want to do. Now, I'm not going to talk about how to change the title of the chart. You should be able to do that. You can uh, expand the chart out. You can add. Uh, you can you can you can add different text boxes. You can even change the the chart type so that you can get different looks. Go to chart design. It, it'll pop down the box you can get different designs that are involved in that at the end of the day you should be able to mess around with that and kind of figure that one out on your own uh, all of the stuff in the the window is movable so you know you can add a text box here for a, for a title you could move this up to here you can add a title down here whatever you need to do to make the chart look good what i want to do right now is show you how to add this trend line so that you can get the you can get the slope this is what you do 
collect, pick a data point, and you right click on it. And you should have a, an option that says add trend line. You just click that option and you get a trend line added to the chart. This is the same thing as if you had plotted these dots individually and you drew with a ruler a straight line, kind of an average throughout the plot, the, the points. What's different uh, for, is that you're going to, instead of manually calculating the slope, you're going to have Excel do it for you. And this is how you do it. In, on this trend line, you should, when you do that, this sidebar should pop open. And you should have these options down here at the bottom. The option you're looking for is display equation on chart. What that does is it gives you the equation of the line. And remember that this, the slope of the line is here. That is your slope. And in this case, this would be your density. Other than making your chart look good, that's all you need to do. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, send me an email. Thanks.